Hey guys, and welcome to Monday, welcome to Countdown Day, and this one is suggested by our buddy, a legend in our community, Ninja Bill, who wanted to know, as voted on by fans of course, the top 10 pieces of Transformers music. And there's been a lot across the last 40 years, naturally, in this list, I'm not going to be able to play the songs, you know, copyright reasons and whatnot, but we are going to talk about which ones are the most popular, which ones have been endearing and enduring, and when and where they show up in our favorite franchise, that being, of course, Transformers. So this, as voted on by fans, will be the top 10 pieces of Transformers music in the latest GotBot Countdown. Hey one hey all, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, aka GotBot. As always, please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe, and while you are at it, light them up, baby. Hit that notification bell, please. It helps me out a ton and lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all of my social media links. All of that is in the description down below, also in the description down below, and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring, or of course hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. And as I said, this is, as voted on by fans, and this was a big round of voting. There were a lot of votes cast here. Uh, I had to disqualify about three dozen uh, of the votes because people said, the whole score for Transformers Prime, the whole score for the 86 movie, like, that doesn't count. That's not one piece of music. That's a whole score. Um, and for some reason, people, they struggle with the concept of one. I don't know. But that's okay because we still had well over a thousand votes that had to go amassed for this list. Uh, very wild, wild round with a lot in here. So not everything could make the list naturally. We have our honorable mentions. They include um, four songs that had the exact same number of votes, but they did not make the list. The first is the animated theme, the Transformers animated theme, which is essentially the G1 song done with a kind of a light rock easy listening rock type of take on it, but it's also high energy. It really, really did match um, Transformers Animated and the theme that they were going for there. The Japanese Transformer, uh, Transformers Animated theme. So both themes, North American and Japanese, they were in the honorable mentions. The G1 Season 3 intro, which was a little more of a pop version of the classic G1 Transformers theme with the mbop mbop that kind of like started the beginning of it. I'm, I'm saying that. I think we all know the sound at the beginning of the season three intro. And uh, the last one is the generic music uh, that you hear, for example, during the episode Autobop, right? It's, some people call it jazz. Some people call it rock. It's a little bit of both, but we all know this generic music that they played in Transformers G1 because kind of any time that there's music played, it's like that. It's a cool theme that became known to the fandom, but none of them made the list. They're the honorable mentions, and there were a lot of songs and a lot of votes. Who made the list? Who actually ranked in the top 10 across 40 years of Transformers? What songs ranked and made it in the top 10? Well, you know what we're going to do. We're going to kick things off as we do every single week with number 10 first. Number 10 takes us to a song composed by John Farnham. Don't know who he, who he is? You definitely know the song if you're a Transformers fan. It is Nothing's Gonna Stand in Our Way. And it was performed in the 86 movie by kick Axe under the name of um, Spectre General. It's definitely kind of a hard rocking theme that uh, plays when Hot Rod and Cop are on Quintessa and Hot Rod is like fighting this robotic octopus or squid or something like that. Like it's a big robotic fish thing that like done a bunch of damage to Cup and he's in parts. After the fight is when Hot Rod uh, offers to like put Cup back together and whatnot. But during that battle, when Hot Rod is fighting that squid octopusy robotic thing, this is the song that plays. It is uh, quite hard rock and this is a fierce battle so it was very fitting. Yeah, nothing's gonna stand in our way performed by Spectre General. Takes the number 10 slot. Number nine sticks with the 86 movie and even sticks with Quintessa and even sticks with the theme of Hot Rod and Cop. 
Except this time, it's the song that plays when they're thrown into the Sharktacon pit. It is, of course, Hunger. And it is very hard rock. It is a big battle that plays from the moment they're dropped in the Sharktacon pit right through to the arrival of the Dinobots there to save the day and save Cup and Hot Rod, which, of course, they do. A very fierce battle where a lot of Sharktacons get destroyed. You would expect ferocity. You would expect angst going on here. And this song, Hunger, very much fits because it encapsulates the threat from the Sharktacons and the frenetic battle that therein ensues between Cup, Hot Rod, the Dinobots, and the forces of the Quintessons. Yes, Hunger takes the number nine slot. Number eight goes away from one movie for another with the 07 live action movie. And near the end of that film, there is a big soliloquy that's given by Optimus Prime as he puts a call out to all of the Autobots and we hear the beginnings of the song performed by Linkin Park that fans now know to be what I've done. And uh, it became a huge hit for Linkin Park. Very um, hard, right? Well, we all know the Linkin Park... Um, style, which is very angry and aggressive, mixed with kind of pop and sometimes even some hip-hop sort of beats and sounds as well. Um, R.I.P. to Chester, by the way. We that were fans still certainly miss him. But this song, What I've Done, considered one of the themes of the uh, live action uh, film in 07. It very much fit. It was a Big energy song for a big energy film, and the way it softly comes in at the end while Optimus is, you know, doing his whole speech where he ends up by saying, you know, we are here, we are waiting, and then the song kicks in was very fitting because it kind of left you with a feeling of, like, hope and power for the future to come while also realizing everything that has happened. A very fitting song, well matched to the live action film for 07. Performed by a band that had millions of fans the world over. What I've done takes the number... Is it eight? Yeah, eight slot. At number seven, we still stick with the live-action universe and Revenge of the Fallen and even Linkin Park, this time with New Divide. New Divide, of course, was a uh, theme song of Revenge of the Fallen. The film gets a lot of flack and it's like fans forget that it was done and finished and offered up really without a completed and fully edited script because it was made during the writer strike um it was going to be imperfect everything from that era wasn't perfect you got to kind of base it at, uh, on you know this film was done while the writers weren't there. And you have to give respect to the writers and to what they're capable of doing with a movie, right? And what happens to a movie when the writers aren't there. Nevertheless, the music certainly was there. And one of the highlights, because New Divide would go on to be one of the biggest songs that Linkin Park ever did. It is one of their, when you think of Linkin Park and you think of their greatest hits, New Divide is usually put up there by a lot of fans. Is it something that was um, put there because of Transformers? Transformers? Arguably, because New Divide was specifically written for the movie. So had the movie never happened, who knows if New Divide would have happened. So if you love the fan, uh, sorry, if you love the song, then you kind of got to be a little bit of a fan of the film that brought it to life. New Divide takes the number seven slot. Number six takes us to a piece of music done by the legendary Vince DiCola, and this one is the Autobot Decepticon battle that really plays kind of during the Battle of Autobot City, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's the song that plays when Perceptor kind of uh, relays to Ultra Magnus that they have a distinct tactical disadvantage, and it continues right through the battle uh, up until the time when Blaster is like fighting sound waves. I know, I know like Rumble and, and like Ravage and stuff is there. I can't remember if it's, I think it's Blaster and his minions fighting Soundwave and his minions, but I can't recall who is exactly there. Like I feel like Ramhorn's there and Eject and Rewind are there. I, I can't, I can't recall the whole battle because there's so much that goes on there. It's so frenetic. But the song that plays right from Perceptor all the way through to Soundwave and Blaster, that rocking song, and it is a rocking song, there's no doubt about it. It's full of energy. It's full of angst. It's full of anger. That song in particular is the battle cry of the Battle of Autobot City, and it takes the number six slot. Number five sticks with the 86 movie. 
And it's very, very fitting because it's all about pop culture when we listen to Dare to be Stupid. Dare to be Stupid, of course, done by Weird Al Yankovic. It is a song that's kind of known not only because of Weird Al, but because of the movie, by both, obviously. In the mid-80s, Weird Al Yankovic, of course, was a huge pop culture icon. So many great covers and parodies of so many legendary songs. It was almost an honor to have a song covered by Weird Al. Of course, he done some of his own music. We had the fabulous film, UHF, which was an absolute hoot. But he was always about having fun and being silly and making music. And the Junkions are silly characters in and of themselves and like to have fun. They do so many pop culture references because of their uh, TV talk. I believe this song plays both during the um, attack of the Junkions and also when they're like dancing and they all become friends, if I'm not mistaken. And like the dancing scene after Ultra Magnus is put back together and stuff is just so silly. The whole ba weep na. No, Ba Weep, Gra Na Weep, Nini Bang, the whole Universal Green thing. Like, the whole thing is so silly, but it's so much fun. Just like Dare to be Stupid is so much fun. And it takes the number five slot. And now we go from fun at five to really, really some darkness and trauma at four. Number four is Instruments of Destruction, which is the hard rock, the angry, heavy song that plays when the Decepticons attack the shuttle that's carrying Ironhide and Ratchet and Braun and Prowl. We all know what happens after. Megatron transforms into his pistol mode, wielded by um, Starscream, and during the whole, you know, let the slaughter begin, and the whole scene, as traumatic and troublesome as it is, is ushered in by this song and this song if you know it and know its performance it's it and if you know the bands i'm about to mention it's as the sound of it is like if megadeth had a love child with overkill those two bands if those two bands had a love child you would get this it is it would have been my vote to be honest with you by the way starscream wife's vote would have been for a uh, new divide but if i voted on this this would have been my vote. It stands out, and to this day, even when I hear it now, it gives me goosebumps on my arm. It makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up because it's just that powerful for one of the most iconic scenes in all of Transformers. Yeah, Instruments of Destruction takes the number four slot. Number three is all about hope. Hope with Stan Bush and Dare. That's right. So, I mean, what is there to say, honestly? Um, Dare plays near the beginning of the film when the Autobot shuttle is coming in and Daniel and uh, Hot Rod are fishing and they end up leaving and going to Lookout Mountain where Hot Rod notices, no, man, that's full of Decepticons. This is going to be a bad scene. So Dare plays then. It also plays, I believe, later on when the Autobots kind of like raid Unicron and attack him and like bash out his eye and all of that stuff. I think it's Dare that plays then. Again, a song that elicits and inspires a lot of hope and a lot of energy. Very fitting in both cases. Dare takes the number three slot. Number two is, I mean, it's about as classic as classic can get because number two, sticking with the 86 movie, is the very opening rendition of the classic Transformers theme song performed by Lion with a kind of a hard rock theme, very 80s, big here, wild outfits is what you would expect. And as soon as you hear that guitar riff at the beginning and they say Transformers and we know what follows from there, it is an iconic rendition. It was meant to be a big song for a big film. It was meant to be, you know, out of this world, unlike anything we'd seen or heard before. And Lion delivered to this day still a rendition of the g1 theme that resonates with fans the most and it takes the number two slot and number one should come as no surprise the most iconic piece of music in all of transformers dumb for the last 40 years it still resonates now it is stan bush's the touch which of course in the 86 film it is played when optimus prime comes barreling in heroically to autobot city and crashes and bashes through a bunch of decepticons i want to say that he like rolls over a couple of insecticons and like bashes into thrust and blows away uh, 
uh, Ramjet and does a whole bunch of stuff. He comes in being all optimacy. It also plays later on in their darkest hour when Hot Rod Rodimus opens the Matrix right to light their darkest hour. And it even played in season three during the return of Optimus Prime. Oh, I don't remember if it's part one or part, part two. But the song itself has stood the test of time. It's not my personal favorite song. I don't I don't gravitate to it like a lot of people, but I can't argue with the popularity and the enduring quality of it. I can't argue with how classic it is. It's been used in countless other movies. It was even used in the Goldbergs, right? We've heard the touch so many times, and anytime you hear it outside of Transformers, the first thing most people think of is, hey, that's that Transformers song. Stan Bush and the touch easily, clearly took the number one slot. And there you go, we've gone from 10 down to 1 once again, and a lot of other ones still had votes. The theme for Soundwave from Transformers Devastation, for example. Um, Everybody, which is a Backstreet Boys song that was in one of the movies, I think. Um, the Fall of Cybertron title screen. The R.I.D. 2001 theme, Escape, which I think was one of the ones by Vince DiCola, if I'm not mistaken. Um, TF Evo, I don't know exactly what that is, but it's by Project Jam. I think they're the ones that have done the Japanese Transformers animated theme, so I don't know, maybe that's the same song. The kind of commercial bumper ditty that they do when they said, uh, you know, the Transformers will return after these messages. That little theme that's in the background there. The theme for Lockdown from Age of Extinction. Uh, had votes. The Transformers Prime theme song, which I thought was going to rank, to be honest with you. Um, Destron Sanka. I don't really know what that is. Um, Burn It to the Ground, Skylinks's theme. What else do we have here? The... Uh, the Battle for Piggy, um, Piggy Island, which is from the Transformers Angry Birds soundtrack. Um, what else do we have here? Um... Pucifer, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a song from Fall of Cybertron that I think was in the... I can't remember if it's in the game or not, but I think it was in the commercial for it, if I'm not mistaken. Unicron's theme, the victory opening. Um, Eject by Tony Bacata. I think I'm saying his name wrong. Uh, Marvin Gaye's Sexual Healing had a vote. Um, Panic Lift, Constructed Cold. I, I, don't, I don't know that at all. Um, Ground Zero, the G1 Season 1 theme, the G1 Season 2 theme, the Beast Wars theme, I like that one too. Um, Humbling River from Fall of Cybertron, the time that uh, Optimus Primal, I think it is, sings, uh, you know, My Little Guy, or this is, this is He, My Little Guy from uh, Season 3, Cutting Edge, the theme for Beast Machines, um, the little ditty that plays when the Sky Spy goes out and does Explore, Explore, um, In My Soul, or sorry, On My Soul, which is from Rise of the Beasts, uh, Arrival to Earth, to Earth from the original uh, live-action movie. Chin Chin Pui from Victory. Cybertronic Warrior by Cybertron Tronic Spree, I think they're called. Uh, the Beast Wars 2 intro. Ignition from Galaxy Force. Uh, Iridescent, which was one of the songs by... I'll spit this out in a second. Uh, Linkin Park, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Roll For It, which I think is the outro song for G1. Um, what else? What else do we have here? Um, gosh, did I miss any more? Uh, Till All Are One, yeah, that's another one. Skylinks' theme, if I didn't say those and more. Man, oh man, so many great songs across 40 years, four decades of Transformers. That, and you know what? As many great ones as we've had, I'm sure there's more good ones still to come. Let me know if your favorites made the list or not. But for now, I'm going to say thank you for coming by, giving me some of your extremely valuable time. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link, check us out on Patreon, see what we have to offer to you through spring, or of course, hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member. While you're at it, hit the subscribe button, stick around, and have some fun with us here on the channel. And don't forget, don't forget for a moment, not for a second, that somehow, some way, each and every single day, you right there, you do make a difference in the world. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way right here inside the videos.